This video is going to be on the Alex topic perimeter involving rectangles and circles. So let's quickly review what perimeter means. Perimeter is the outside of a shape. So in this case, we're looking at a rectangle, but the rectangle has had a chunk taken out of it, right? And we know that because this line is dashed and we're not including the dashed line. That's just showing us where the rectangle used to be. And it looks like there's a semicircle right here that it's been cut out of. So perimeter is the distance outside. Perimeter is one dimensional because what we're doing is we are looking at a length. We're not looking at a amount of space inside. We're not looking at something that's 3D. We're just looking at a distance or a length around, okay? So this is one dimensional, meaning whatever our answer is, we're going to write it in terms of units, not in terms of units squared or units cubed. It's just gonna be however many units, in this case, inches. All right, let's read the problem and let's go over this together. A rectangular paperboard measuring 24 inches long and 19 inches wide has a semicircle. Remember, the prefix semi or semi means it's a half of a circle, right? Cut out of it. Cut out tells us that we're taking it away, right? Not adding it to it. As shown below, what is the perimeter of the paperboard that remains after the semicircle is removed? Use the value of 3.14 for pi and do not round your answer. Be sure to include the correct unit in your answer. So this tells us that we're probably gonna use 3.14 for pi, right? Excuse me, that we're probably going to need to use pi. All right, so let's go ahead and let's figure out how long this red area, uh, this red distance is. All right, so how I like to write this out is I like to first label anything that I know that I need. So this is 24 inches, this is 19 inches, and this I can infer is 24 inches because I know that opposite sides of rectangles are equal to each other or congruent. So that means this is also 24 inches. Now the tricky part is how long is this, right? And I don't know exactly how long this is, but I can figure it out if I know how to calculate the perimeter of a circle. So I am gonna need a formula for that, and that formula does involve pi. All right, so let's go ahead and let's figure this out. What I wanna do first is I want to just write it out in terms of all of the sides. So this side length is a long side. And then I'm gonna add a short side. And then I'm gonna add another long side. All right, that'll take care of one, two, three. But then what else do I need to add? I need to add this, right? And that's not really a side. That I would probably call it a half of a circle, right? That's half of the circle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna translate this into values, actual numbers. So the long side is 24. To that, I'm adding a short side, 19. To that, I'm adding a long side, 24. And to that, I'm adding half of the circumference or half of the circle. Remember, circumference is like the perimeter of a circle. So half, and then the circumference, there's two ways to write it. You could say that the circumference is two times of the radius, or you could say um, that the circumference is equal to the diameter times pi. Okay, now think about this. The only difference between these formulas is 2r versus d. Well, two times the radius is the same thing as the diameter, right? So I like using this formula because it's more straightforward. c equals d times pi or pi d. So my pi is 3.14 and my d is, well, whatever the diameter, remember that's all the way across of my um, circle is, and I know that's 19 because of what I said before about opposite sides of rectangles being congruent. All right, so this gives me 24 plus 19 plus 24. That would be 48 
plus 20 minus 1. 48 plus 20 would be 68 minus 1, because this is 19, not 20, would be 67. So that's 67 plus half of pi d. Remember we said pi is 3.14. And d in this case is 19. Now I want half of that, so I'm just going to take this whole thing and divide it by 2 once I multiply it. So it'll be 67 plus, and then I'm going to do this all at once with my calculator. So 3.14 times 19. which is 59.66, but then I need to divide it by two because it's a semicircle. So this is 29.83. So let's go ahead and add these up. And we get 96.83. And remember in the beginning we said it's just units because we're just measuring the distance around. It's not unit squared. So this is in terms of inches. So the perimeter is 96.83 inches. Um, the only thing that I want to make you uh, aware of is I know it says cut out here. So you might think that we subtracted this value but realize that we didn't include all the sides of the rectangle, right? We only included three of the sides, two long sides and one short side. So even though it says cut out, think of it in terms of what you physically see, okay? Make sure that you're, you also use your common sense when you're doing this.